Okay, so it's back, and we can now see what it can do. I've got, let's just go take a look at what it's done to it. Uh, let's see here. So we got the spring in there. There's the spring. We got one spring there, and one spring over there. So that spring is... So that spring right there is tightening that chain, and then the spring is tightened the uh, main chain. So let's go see what it does. Okay, got you on the gimbal. Don't know how well this is gonna work, but you can see that we're at 160 volts. Let's go. Now floor it and it does not skip. Can actually catch a little bit of air coming over the hill down to 158 volts this is telling up pretty good all right let's go back home Time to turn it up. 
All right. Oh, it's been so long. Open. Which one is it? I think it's this top one. Uh, blinky red, blinky red light. Bluetooth failed. Open. Top connection. Solid red light. Connected. Read. Okay, so now I gotta remember what I gotta do here. So I got the low voltage. Current percentage, 35. Hmm. I think we need 65 now. Enter. Next. Backspace. Battery current limit. 65. Enter. Done. Okay. Right. Battery right complete. Okay. Okay, just a quick check. Motor has a little bit of warmth to it. Controller has zero warmth to it. Oh, my battery's going bad. I need to bring our battery before me. Okay, got that on. So, see what's going on. And just to show you, the water pump's still working. Let's just kick it on real slow. You can see the bubbles going. So my water pump action's still going. Just another view of the springs and everything. If that's not factory, I don't know what is. It's actually just using whatever I had laying around. Those are old springs from a trampoline. Uh, okay. okay. Let's go backwards. That was four amps max. Alright, forward. 40 amps. Definitely got some more get up. Yeah, max out at 40 amps. It might max out at 50, to tell you the truth. Oh, that feels good. It feels real good. I say if 60 feels good, let's just go straight to 100. Rolling back down. All right, let's go do. Uh... Okay, open, connect, blinky light, blinky light, solid light. There we go. Read. Boop, booty do. Ninety. Next. Ninety. Oh, oh. that's probably too much. Done. Right. Okay. Actually, I saw something that's just going. Let's just do a couple of things real quick. Um, One hundred. Do next. I don't know what this is. What is this? Maximum reverse speed. Oh, thirty. One hundred. Boom. I don't know what this one is. Let's see here. Low speed forward. 100. Oh. Next. I don't know what this one is. Low speed reverse. 100. I think y'all could have guessed that. Back. Right. Right complete. All right. Okay, we peaked out at 40.5. Uh, I just cranked everything up to 90 to 100%. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 55! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. It was just spinning the tires over, bouncing everything all over the place. 55 amps. So I don't do the math real quick. I'll do the math in just a second. 55 times 150 volts. Let's go see what that math is. Alrighty folks, so the current record is 55 amps. Let's see what we can do.
guy right here. All right, let's go. Open. Blinky light, blinky light, blinky light, solid light. All right, read. And we need to definitely come back here, knock these down to 50. Next, 50. That's too much. 50. Done. Right. That's probably a safe number for this thing. Right, complete. Okay. Okay, so I got this guy on DC max. Put him back on that wire. And I'm gonna put you on the tripod. Alright, so it's recording. I really shot myself in the foot on this one. So my double side electrical tape or duct tape came off the bottom of this and this guy touched that and it went boom. Hopefully the controller's not broken. Okay, so I got the death cart back into the garage after pushing it back about a quarter mile, a little bit less than that, but pushing it up the retention pond was difficult. And so I got 118, at 50%, I got 118 amps peak. Uh, and then, uh, let me show you what I did over here. All that black is where my DC-DC dropped on the two terminals, and it just went pa-pow. But, you know, kudos to the Kelly. It still works. It drove back up in here. I uh, had it down in the, uh, in the street and was able to drive it back up in here, so... It still works, and I got to do something about those switches, but I've already got that taken care of. I'll show you that in a second. So this is the box that I'm going to put in. This box is just an Arduino on a breadboard, and printed it out. And it just drops on there like that. And every time I turn power on, it's going to run the relays for me, uh, and it's going to do the water pump too. It's going to look at the thermistor on the water pump. And once it gets up to, I forget what temperature I set it to, uh, 100 degrees or so, it's going to turn the water pump on continuous. And if the thermistor goes to zero or infinite uh, resistance, it's going to turn the water pump on 100%.